this is Miriam, the tween teen librarian at the Huron Public Library. Thank you for joining me today to learn how to make an octopus craft. It's like the octopus is escaping from the sea. So, you should have picked up a craft kit, and in your craft kit, you should have a bag of clay, you'll have a pen, and you'll have a goblet. To begin with, what I'd like you to do is open up your clay and we're going to make the head of the octopus. There are two colors of clay. There's one for the body and the legs. I'm going to use yellow and there's some for the eyes and you just have a little bit of that. First of all, what you need to do is take your clay, take about three quarters of it or two thirds of it and roll it on the table. Um, we're making the body or the head, however you see it. and when I did it, I made it a little oblong, and I roll it to keep all the indentions and everything out of it because they show up more than what you would think. So there's the body. For the eight legs, you don't really need a whole lot, and I have found that the thinner you make it, it's the better. You want them about the same size. So you roll that on the table, and again, try to make sure that you have not a lot of indentions or cracks or anything like that. You do not want weak spots either. You want it thick enough so that it's pliable and it will hold together. You take your octopus body, and I'm going to attach the legs. I'm going to attach one like this. There's eight legs to an octopus, and you have your eight legs made. now. The trick is, I put it on the glass, and I wanted his legs to dangle over the side of the glass, and I want him to look just kind of different. So I just kind of put him where he would go. I sticked his head against the glass, and once you get the other legs on, he'll stay. And I just kept adding all eight legs until I got him how I wanted him. My clay is getting a little dry, so you want to work quickly when you work with this clay. It's kind of hard clay to work with because it dries so fast, but it makes it easy so you do not need to bake it. And I'm going to twist it up to the top. I think my octopus needs to be a little bit anchored better. And there's your octopus, and he's going to keep moving until he dries, so don't be surprised if you come back later and he's moved on you. This cup is not going to be able to drink out of when you, when you get your glass done. It's going to be decorative, so don't try to put water and drink out of it because this clay, I'm not sure what's in it, and um, it's not going to withstand water. The eyes, they're easy. You just take two little itty bitty pieces of the green that you had in your bag and I rolled it in a ball to make two little eyes. I wanted them bulgy because octopuses kind of have bulging eyes and I put them on like so. So there's his eyes. And then when you're done, I always like to add, like you need eyes, you need something to catch your attention. So I would take and I would mark two little black dots in the middle so he can kind of glare at you. And that is my octopus today. Thank you for joining me, Mary, the tween teen librarian at the Huron Public Library. I hope you had fun making these. I just think they're awesome, and you're, you'll see them on my desk when you come visit me. In two weeks, we're going to make fairy houses, so join me then. Thank you. Bye. Bye.